We're now going to do the last part of uh, Pomo Deus, which is the data religion section. And, and you know, let's look at our, our pillar of, of a facts, meaning, and values. And what we're basically saying is, is dataism, Harari puts that on underneath the religion. And basically, if you look at both sapiens and the technology, the computers are both algorithms, and they follow, those algorithms follow the same mathematical laws. And so that they, uh, you know, that's going to provide a lot of new powers to all of our institutions. And Harari says it also provides us with kind of the, a, uh, the, the holy grail, right? We, are, we have a single overreaching theory that unifies all scientific disciplines from literature and musicology to economics and biology. So we're, we're looking at the, you know, the fact that, that, that you know, basically our, our worldview with its multiple pillars is really working its way down with the data religion that just one that is our algorithms. He also talks about the fact that in the past, what we said is there's a whole lot of data out there. That data then man trans transforms into information. That information gets updated into knowledge, and then the knowledge gets updated into wisdom. And and uh, yeah, and that's how it works. And what he's saying is that what we're seeing is that there's just way too much data out there for humans to even to be able to turn it into meaningful information. And that we really need the technology. The technology is, is the only thing that can do it. So that it also means that all of our institutions, our political, economic, and social institutions, are really becoming data processing systems. And, a, uh, and, and therefore, you know, he compares the fact that, you know, there's centralized as one of the options for dealing with this, a centralized system. But he, he also talks about distributed systems, and he believes that distributed systems are the ones that are going to be the solution in the future. And then, so what we're saying is that we have Google, Facebook, and Amazon are basically distributed systems that are going to be making the decisions for us using their sophisticated algorithms. And that's one of the possible futures.